Well, today's the 21st of April, it's uh, 2024, and we've come to one of our favourite places uh, for breakfast, which is Chimelli's in Portals now. So we've got Angela with us, so much welcome to Angela. She arrived yesterday, we've already been out for one function last night, had a fantastic evening, and now uh, it's the morning after the night before, so we've come for a full English breakfast in Chimelli's. <laughs> When we come to Chimelli's, one of the things I always like to do is to have a, a coffee, always a very good coffee, and a fresh orange juice, a great way to start. And uh, well, this is why we come to Chimelli's for our breakfast, because we get a lovely full English breakfast with uh, bacon, sausages, tomato, eggs, beans, and uh, toast. Well, a lovely breakfast at uh, Chimelli's. Just going to have a little walk around the village now. And uh, it's, you know, it's changed a little bit over the years. Um, banks seem to have moved around more than anything. Banker Marks over there, uh, which used to be Banker Credito. And uh, Kaisha Banks over there, that used to be something else. But this is the square. This is where we used to live 25 years ago. secret garden down there and this one is now called Rude. This used to be our bank when we first came here. This was a bank. And little ladies have eaten here and they say it's quite good for Rude. Rude, yeah. And we've got the shops on this side, the paper shop and uh, Sidon which is the shop. has got a little car park down there as well which is quite handy. So we can pull into Sidon, that's where we buy some things. Great choice of wine in there. Anita always comes out with a bottle of wine. Across the road we've got the med bar. A green place on the corner used to be Flintstones. Uh, it's changed a couple of times since then, it's now Frankie's. Doesn't look to be open. Do you think it's in an ideal spot? And in the distance we've got the ship. We're not going that way, we're going to turn down here. Big white block right in front of us didn't exist when we first moved here. It was just an empty piece of land. Uh, used to be right across the road from where we lived. Paco's that used to be is now changed hands yet again and is called La Ver Veranda. It's not tried that, so I have to go on our list. And surprisingly, they've made this. Um, car park only for employees of the people who live here, work here. So uh, clients of the restaurants can't use it. And uh, yeah, so 25 years ago, this is where we used to live. So this, is, this was our, very much our stomping ground and children grew up here. And uh, just as a turn of the millennium, we uh, that's when we moved up to Genova. The road to cross there, right in front of us, as you go along there, there's a road that takes you down to the beach and there's a little car park down there, which is quite handy. Someone was asking me about the rubbish bins here in Mallorca. Um, they're emptied, at least where we are, they're emptied every day and uh, we do have a variety of bins, so this green one here is for glass, so just glass bottles really, uh, wine bottles in particular, the grey one's just for general rubbish, uh, the brown is for organic material, uh, the blue one is for paper and carton and the yellow is specifically for containers, uh, plastic bottles, um, milk cartons and those sorts of things. So it's very well 
uh, sectioned off and uh, well, people seem to be getting to, used to using them so we do uh, partition them but we don't tend to store rubbish in the house at all so we don't have big rubbish bins like our families do in the UK um, and we take them down to the rubbish bins every day and they get emptied every day. Just coming round to the rear of the supermarket Sudan and it does have a little car park here which we use when we do the shopping and uh, we're buying a lot of things uh, they will bring the shopping down in their lift and put it in the back of the car for you it's that sort of a friendly service so service that you get in the village shop like that <clears throat> and it is very well patronized lots of people locals use it <laughs> prices are fair this is the rear of the secret garden very secret that used to be the Blanco Negro it used to actually be the entrance or an entrance to the Blanco Negro I'm going to cross over here because so I want to have a look to see what's going on at the building plot there's now a huge digger parked in the street I'm not sure about that one time the building was restricted during the tourist season so they wouldn't really have much time left uh, to do any of this heavy work that they were doing they'd be trying to get it all out of the way but um, since Covid things changed it's still digging deep here look really going down and that's how they build here build big holes and uh, they will be um, car parks if they're going to build a block of flats or something, they'll be in the car park to, to the flats, and that's a big, big hole they've got there. I still haven't managed to lock this up to find out what they're building. It's um, it's called New Pearls Development, and the internet address is www.perlpearl. E N T A U C H E R dot E S. So I need to have a look at that and find out what they're, they're building. Because it just goes on and on down here. It's going to be interesting to watch it as it uh, grows. <laughs> Across the road, King Richard III School. Today's Sunday, so nobody's at school today. Big hole. And then just in the distance there, you can actually see the car park, uh, the road that goes down to the beach. Stop the uh, camera through the lens fence so you can see what's going on around there. Huh? We're just going to head down to the church as we were arriving. I dropped the ladies off at the restaurant at Chimeli's and uh, I drove down and parked the car and uh, the bells were ringing for the morning mass. Hello, that's the school bell ringing <laughs> on Sunday. Sports 
complex across there, which, uh, and we lived here, was just a little red ash field. Uh, and uh, I used to bring the children down, used to kick the ball around, or we'll play in the little park that's uh, just behind. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's not too hot, just the way Angela likes it really. Uh, temperature's probably in the low 20s by now. There's more of those bins. church area. This has got a parasol out. Nice to see a car in the car park for a change. Oh, and the bell's ringing. What for? Oh, it's noon. 12 noon. We've got 12, 12 strikes. church, the service is over now. Puerto Portales. It's always a little bit breezy here. Got another beach with no sunbeds on. Quite a few people on the beach looking reasonably busy and uh, I've even got a few swimmers in the sea. A little bar down there, it's not been reconstructed yet. I'm guessing that'll get done fairly soon. It was actually run by the church last year for the benefit of some of the locals here in terms of housing. Very breezy now. It's a cool breeze. Quite a few boats out.
Well, we had a lovely breakfast at Chamelli's and a nice little walk around Portal. So uh, we're going to head off to the car and head off somewhere else. So thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.